We would also like to thank two people who are here tonight, um, who I don't think need an introduction, but we need to give them an introduction. Uh, the, the amazing Helen Mirren yeah. and Jason Clark. The amazing Jason Clark. <laughs> told to go into the light, so I'm being obedient. And shall we bring Jason up too, can we? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey guys, thank you very much. Oh, thank I, I you. Did, sorry, Jason. I, did I thought you did too, I was I ready did. for that. I said the up. amazing Jason Clark. <laughs> so well, here we are, what, what happens now? Did... <laughs> now I'm, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming and thank you for putting your veils on. You looked amazing. I hope it's going to be the fashion statement for, the, for 20, 2018. But, um, you know, Jason and I loved making this movie. It was, it was amazing to make a film that has its roots and its, its foundations very much in American history. Um, as, you, as so many of you know, you've been to the house and you've experienced that extraordinary edifice and, 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 and the mystery of it. And, and I loved that uh, about this movie. I, I love the fact that, that this actually existed, that this happened. Sarah Winchester was a real person from, from history. Um, and, and it was an amazing journey to discover about her, to, fight, to think about what her motives might have been, to, to try and penetrate her, her psyche. And um, with the help of Jason playing um, you know, the doctor, that, that was the journey that we both made. You're a class act, Miss Moon. <laughs> <laughs> she really is. Um, I think the film is too. We love making it. We hope you get scared witless. <laughs> Enjoy. You Thank don't. You there's not enough men here, actually. <laughs> We're going to have to cling on to each other, I'm afraid, girls. Um, but I, I know on the East Coast, I know people are watching us, which is great, and, and they've already seen the movie, so um, they're ahead of us. But I hope, they, I hope you guys enjoyed the movie, and... Um, and it gave you a few frights and a few scares and, and a little bit of history as well. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for oh. coming. Hello, everyone. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And for all those that are watching on live stream, hello, welcome. Thank you. And uh, I'm very, really proud that I'm here. I've been to the Winchester House several times and actually conducted seances there. I, I want to ask someone, is there someone that lost a twin that passed over? A twin. Where are we? I think it's a girl twin. Female twin. I'm sorry, it's twin. Where are we? can't see ya. So I can't see. Does it make sense, anyone? Don't hear anyone? Okay. My sister's in the audience. So I'm talking about my sister. If it's not a twin, it's my sister. So let me just give you that one. Okay. Don't understand that. Good. All right. I got you. Thank you. Um, I know that I have a female here, and I know that I have a sister in the audience. So I know my sister is in the audience. Uh, so that's where I want to start going. I feel uh, with this lady that the death comes a little unexpectedly. Uh, just, just unexpectedly, I feel here. So I just got to uh, be mindful of that. And am I up there, around? If it makes sense, we just stand up. There you go. Yeah, like she was sick for a little bit, but it was like she was young when she passes over. I feel like I'm in mid midlife, not, oh, there you go, okay. Um, and your name is? Aubrey. Aubrey? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so let me just see if this works here. So stay, stay standing, sweetheart. I think you're great no matter what your name is. How's that? I like your energy. You're beautiful. Would you understand about the lady that comes to me? I feel like I'm a twin. Maybe I'm not a twin, but I certainly feel like a twin. I don't know if there was a two-year difference between the two of you. How, how far away were you? Seven years. Oh, seven. Why do I feel like I'm a twin? I just feel like I'm a twin. It's very interesting. And would you understand about her being in a hospital? Mm -hmm. And would you understand that they were switching hospitals or had to switch to different types of hospitals or places, like a hospice or a hospital or a special kind of care for her? No. Were there two different places she went to? 
She's telling me there are two different treat places she went. Should so, I tell you something? Yes. She was a very well-respected nurse, but she was hurt, hurt in a car accident and had to change and start working in a more of a desk job. So she was changing hospitals. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see. I see. Okay. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. I don't know how to interpret it. I'm sorry. I, mm -hmm. I have to, I, I, I'm going to take that, but I usually would. That sounds kind of weird. But mm -hmm. she said two different hospitals. So that's what I got. All right. <laughs> She's talking about being with a man, a father over there. Hmm. Your dad's passed over. Yeah. Because she's with him. Yeah. I, I'm not to inform you your dad has passed over. I hope you know that by now. But yeah, because I don't want to be the bearer of bad news here. But I know that I have my dad. Your dad is here as well. Okay. I don't know, but I feel very close to this girl, this woman, your sister. Mm -hmm. I feel close to her. I just got to say that to you, and I'm I'm sorry. I I got to stay with her. I'll stay with her. But I know that also there's someone behind you up there who has a sister that's not standing. So I just am being told that by my guys. But I'm gonna work with you. Is okay? Is that mm -hmm. all right? Good. So I know that um, I want to talk to your sister. I want to talk to my father. I have an aunt as well. Mm -hmm. I have your aunt here. I feel like this aunt could be a favorite aunt of yours. Mm -hmm. You understand that? She was a twin. Ah! <laughs> she was a twin. I knew I had a twin. Damn it. I knew I had a twin. Okay. I got the feeling of a twin, so I knew that that was, that was really weird. okay. Thank and you. She, thank you. Thank you. She and my sister died exactly the same way. Oh, jeez. Okay. Don't scare me. Um, <laughs> okay. But you know what? I got to... Okay. Uh, let me get more. She's so happy you're here. She pushed you to get here. She said you weren't going to get here. You were not meant to be here. You weren't <laughs> supposed to come here. Something was going to happen, and you came at the last minute. You understand that? Yep. Yep. Is that a yes? Yes. Thank yes. you. And I'm going to tell you that your sister got you here. I'm going to tell you that your sister got you here. I know that she's been working with you. I've got to tell you what she's saying to me. She's happy she's out of it. She's happy she's out of this. She's happy she's out of it. She said, I'm happy now. I'm really happy now. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> it's so much good gossip. I mean, I'm so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she and your father are getting along better now. They are finding the relationship they needed to have that they couldn't find down here. Would you understand that, please? Yep. And I need to say that your sister's singing. She wants to tell you, I'm finally singing. Ah. You understand that, don't yes. you? Yes, yes. Because she wants me to sing, and I'm not going to, but she wants me to sing, so she's influencing me. And I know that she's found, oh, yeah. She's so cool. She goes, I found my voice. I found my voice. And um, why did she talk about your earrings? I don't know if they're new earrings. She wants to talk about your earrings. Don't you have her earrings? Or, <laughs> she you know? pierced my ears. She what? She pierced my she ears. She pierced your ears. Okay, great. Great. I know that. I know that. Yeah, yeah, good, go, go. I'm talking to her. Yeah. So she passed your ears, but I need to ask you, did you, after she passed over, bought a pair of earrings in her memory because of her for the pierced ears? Did you think about her when you're looking at some earrings? Or did that just, did that yes. just happen? Yes, yes. You understand that? Yes. You should, sure. True, 100%. And your mom's also passed, hasn't she? Yep. Standing right in the middle, right above you, can I just say. <laughs> your, your mother and father are laughing here, and they're getting along fine, which is like, you're going to say, what? <laughs> they're getting along fine. Um, I think mom sometimes be a little stubborn, sometimes, <laughs> you see. <laughs> She's being kind. Um, but, you know, it, it, and I really, really um, got to tell you that... Uh, Ah, get very emotional with your family. Um, your mother wants to, your mother's apologizing to you, okay? She's apologizing to you. She said she didn't see you for who you really were. Do you understand? Yep. And, and she really is sorry about that. Now, this is a very strong message for everyone in the room. Even though I'm giving the message to one person, it affects every single person sitting here because we're all human. Yeah, and we have to relate to these experiences. And she's just telling me that. I also want to put a necklace around you from your mom. I just have to. She's giving you have her. You must. You must have her necklace as well. You understand? Yes. And I want to say she's giving you roses. She's giving you a lot of red, red roses, red roses, red roses, because she loves her roses. You know, she loves her roses. <laughs> and she's saying to me, I have rose gardens here. I have rose gardens here. I have flowers here. And she said, I come to you with a perfume smell. She said, oh. you understand that? You have, you have the, the smell of the perfume. And um, she said, it's me, honey, it's me. And she said that when you were a little girl, she didn't take the time to be with you like she should have. Your sister brought her through. 
Your sister brought her in. Your sister brought her in. I need to say that your mom is telling me, and your sister, and your daddy. Your daddy's a sweetie. I love your dad. Great sense of humor. Great personality. He gets along with anybody. He's a really fun guy. I want to go have a beer with this guy. He's like, you know, I have a joke. I, I love him. He's great. And I was like, tip of the hat, top of the hat. He does this to me. And he's like, tipping the hat. Yes. And that's what he does, yes. tip of the hat. And uh, I just love that with this gentleman. I feel really very balanced with him. I feel very grounded with him. I feel sometimes he couldn't, you know, he wasn't as strong as your mom sometimes. And, but I know that you could go to dad and confide in your dad. I know that your sister really wants you to know that she's really found happiness where she's at. I know there were two different marriages. That we're talking about here the two different marriages. And your sister's finding um, that she's found true love there. She's telling me that. Go on. And this aunt of yours, she's talking about figurines or statues or something. Um, you understand having some figurines in your house, where is it in the box? The boxes. Ah, there must be some boxes somewhere that you still have stuff wrapped in a newspaper in the boxes. Do you understand that? Yes. And she's telling me, my, my things are there. Some of her things are in those boxes. And she said, open them up. And she said, you'll find some figurines there. Okay? I also like the candlesticks that you have. She's talking about candlesticks. And she's talking to me, you remember about setting the table with her when you were a little girl, setting a, t a table, a nice table with her. You understand oh, that? Yes. And I know about a lace tablecloth. I know about putting the candelabras or the candles right on there. And I really love that. I know the place has to be a certain way. She taught you how to set a, set a place. She did. No. Yes. 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 That's very important that you remember that. She goes on about very significant. Yes, good, good. So um, um, I want to tell you, your sister's right with you. She said, you be careful at night when you drive. <laughs> yeah. You've been warned, right? Yes. You know, like this lady over here. Hello, LA. <laughs> Hello, just saying. So be careful. Um, eyes are changing. So be careful at night when you drive. I want you to do some automatic writing. Uh, like in the movie, in the Winchester movie, you'll see that Sarah does automatic writing. You can easily do automatic writing. So I would do that. You know, okay. Check out my website. I teach that. So you could easily be, everyone's a medium in their own right. Everybody uses that creative force, that creative energy in different ways. We're all mediums in our own way. Yeah. I use it to contact spirit, but we use it creatively, artistically, with all the artists around. So everyone is a medium, but you could definitely do automatic writing. So God bless you. I'll leave you with all that love. Thank yeah? you so much. Thank you. Thank you.